What's going on, guys? It is Disney Dan here with a fun preview of the... Oh my goodness, this is one of the coolest... This is one of the best additions to LEGO Dimensions Year 2 that could have possibly come. It's the Harry Potter Adventure World. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's just got... It's got everything in it that you could possibly want. And um, uh, today, or yesterday, or who knows what day it really is, because it's not... It's over in Germany, and there's an awesome convention going on, the Gamescom, and uh, the LEGO Dimension guys stopped by, Arthur and Jim, to show off uh, some more gameplay, particularly the Harry Potter Adventure World, with some uh, Harry Potter and Voldemort gameplay. And Voldemort looks so good flying around the map and everything like that. So here is a quick little snippet of the video. Check it out. I, this, the, the minute I get the game, the first thing I'm doing is going to the Harry Potter Adventure World. It looks so cool. I absolutely love it. So check it out, guys. One of the big things when we made Dimensions was... Oh, I mean, just, just look at that. The, the <laughs> it's it's hard this not just, to laugh at this. I love it. It's just ridiculous. One of the thing, the first things we thought of doing, I mean, obviously there's the Break the Rules slogan, which was, which was a part of Season 1 and very much a part of Season 2. But one of the big things is to not have too many um, strict rules on what you can and can't do in a level. And the minute you open that up, you can have things like the, Drake, the Jake trampoline. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if you jump over the, over the puzzle because anyone can go there anyway. Yeah. Um, and it was like opening the whole game up to free play, which is something that is, is a concept from our, from our standalones, really. So yeah. it's like saying that the biggest rule is that you should have less rules. Yeah. That, exactly. Yeah, that, that, is, that is quite literally it. I, I, I come to, you know, because we obviously work together, I go to uh, Jimmy quite a lot saying, I'm just, just wanting to do this. You know, what's the rule? And he's just like, the, the, there's, there's no rule. There's yeah. no rule. Just what, do so it. So I can just do this. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you just, just do whatever you want. And it's like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Which, which I'm sure the audience appreciates because there's a certain level of, of character interaction that they expect at this point. And to limit them, I mean, that's not fun, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like almost every level is its own hub world in many regards, mm -hmm. because there are no rules. You can do what you like. and This look, looks so good. <laughs> this is amazing, this place. And it, it's the concept of allowing other IPs to be in that world as well, which is something that very few games, if any, out there can do as, free, as freely as we can. You yeah. know, we can put, um, for example, a Homer in, in the, um, the portal level in, the, in season one. Mm -hmm. Al allowing us to just do that, we just think of a cool puzzle. Wouldn't it be great if Homer came in on the Wrecking Ball? <laughs> just like in the cartoon, <laughs> just like a certain pop star, but we're not going to mention. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, yes, that but would be cool. And then, and we do it, and, and everyone's cool with it. And it's, 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 it's great. It's a great bit of freedom. Please don't put yeah. Miley Cyrus in your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a boss <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, final boss. So how do, you, how do you sort of figure out a way for people to interact with all of these worlds when they're not necessarily so connected with the source material. Like I know a, a kid today might know Harry Potter, but yep. you've got the A-team. I mean, that's, that's great for me because I'm old and dying, but what do you do with somebody who's... <laughs> so <wait. laughs> What do you do with somebody who's young and energetic and still is full of life? Well, the, the, what we're kind of hoping is that something like A-team or Knight Rider or Goonies, these things are going to um, bring people together because we, we know a lot of people play, you know, yeah. mums and dads play with the kids. And, and it's lessons we've learned from the standalone games where you'll find... Th they'll have those conversations away from the game and, and sort of like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I watch the Goonies and, and it's one of my great movies. And then maybe they'll go and watch the Goonies and, and mm -hmm. they'll enjoy the movie as much as, as, as we did back in whenever, 85, 86, whatever yeah. it was. Um, and, and, and that's kind of the, 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 the great thing about Dimensions. This is something for everyone. But the fan service is always what we're trying to make sure we do, isn't it, with, with each yeah. IP. If we nail Knight Rider and it's, it's just it's, it's everything that that show is about, mm -hmm. people will enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. They maybe then will go and watch every well, I episode. Think it's I love the idea of that, by the way, like a 10-year-old kid going on YouTube and just watching old reruns of Knight Rider. That would be so <laughs> yeah, good. That would be amazing. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think that is the thing. of It's experiencing them kind of licenses with your kids. Because yeah. obviously there are a lot of people who buy these games and... You know, especially with Dimensions, you can kind of go, oh, you know, you, you didn't see Goonies, but this was one of my favorite films growing up. Yeah. Play the, play the level, and then the kid's more interested. And, and we had it with, with Lord of the Rings. We made Lord of the Rings. Some yeah. people had never seen the film, some kids. They played the game, and then they wanted to see the film. It's, it, yeah. it's a very similar thing, and with us being very family orientated, that's kind of perfect for us. Yeah, no, it really is. I wonder how many even watched the film, and they're like, where's Homer Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, why, didn't, why is there no Daleks in this? Yeah. I don't, don't quite understand what happened there. 
So yeah. how do you sort of space out the roadmap for a game like this? Because I know we see all these characters in front of us right now. Will they all be available at the same time? Will they come out sort of piecemeal? Well, th these ones that we've got here are generally the ones that are in the first two waves. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's September the 26th in the US, September the 30th in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, that's when we get wave one. So that's what, what we've got in wave one. Harry Potter, mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Um, What's the other ones? Harry Potter. Uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, yeah, so, yeah. So many. Yeah, um, it's so hard yeah. to remember them all. Wave 2, I think, <laughs> is, is Fantastic Beasts and Sonic and Gremlins, I think, yeah, and a couple of others. Yeah. Um, and it's just, a, it's, it's kind of like just making sure that they're nicely spaced because you can't throw too much stuff at everyone all at once. Right. Um, but this, you know, the assortment is so diverse that we're still, you know, looking at, uh, at certain things like Beetlejuice. We yeah. we still haven't got the actual minifigure in the office yet. We're still no. waiting for that to come in. It's the design so looks exciting. cool. Though. I mean, that's yeah. going to be pro one of the more terrifying looking <laughs> Lego minifigures ever. I mean, that is a yeah. rotting corpse of a man from the eighties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's fun for the whole family. He's got some complexion issues. There's yeah, no doubt there. That's a, that's a sensitive way of putting it. Yes, <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, but <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of someone uh, sort of going in reverse and collecting these toys and then realizing, oh, there's a game here. Yeah. I think I, I think I could see that happening a lot, especially with people like, you know, like I said, my age. 